Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cornwall Car Care. The last couple of videos have been a bit short. I've been super busy, like ridiculously busy. Um, this vehicle is having quite a lot of work, so we're gonna document this one the best that I can. Um, I've had a few comments asking what pads and polishes I've been using, uh, so I'm gonna try and incorporate that into this video as well. But yeah, 2018, Volkswagen Tiguan in white. I think that's how you say it. Um, there's quite a lot of swirling and scratches on the paintwork. Uh, the white hides it quite a lot, so we'll go in in a minute under the lights and we'll have a good look and see what we can find. Uh, dual stage enhancement, paint coating, wheels off detail, trim coating, glass coating, interior, interior coatings, wheel arches, calipers, engine bay. This is having quite a lot of work. So it's probably gonna be a bit of a longer video. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and go a bit more in depth if I can. Uh, we'll see what time allows me to do. But yeah, overall, it's a nice vehicle. So I'm just prepping it all in the front part of the unit. Uh, we got some big plans for this wall uh, coming up quite soon. So <laughs> keep an eye out for that. Uh, but back to the car. Yeah, we'll kill the top lights. Uh, we'll get my torch out and we'll have a good look and see what we can find. So we'll right, so we'll start on the bonnet. You can see all the swirls and scratches. I don't know how well this is gonna pick up on camera. Yeah, so there's quite a lot. Definitely a dual stage enhancement on this one. A single stage is not gonna be enough. But yeah, you can see them all there. Go on to the door, come down a bit. Oh yes. So let's have a look at the gloss black. Well, they are definitely gonna benefit from a two-stage polish. Wow. Doesn't look like there's very many deep ones in there, which is good. That's good. There's a couple of deep ones I've just seen up there, but nothing, nothing scary. Some more swells and scratches. Oh, I've got to get that. Right, I am back. So yeah, lots and lots of swells and scratches. We should be able to make this a very, very nice turnaround. Oh, the camera, I don't think that's picking up as much as I can see. So basically, it's like this over the whole whole vehicle. Ooh, did I see a hologram there? Uh, something has been polished on this door. You just see them holograms. Oh, there's something there, something in that area, you can see it change. So, 
what's happened in that what's happened in that area i will find out when i start measuring but yeah something's definitely been polished in this area here let's have a look on the wing oh okay so the wing as well something has been polished here right so although it's swirly and scratchy i don't think it's too bad um the pillars are going to be a great before and after something on that wing the driver's side wing and door there's something on those two so i'm just going to get my paint thickness gauge do all my measurements get it in the detailing studio tape it all up get polishing and let's turn this around <laughs> right we'll catch back back in there So that is all my prep work completed. So it's had a full wash, three stage or two stage chemical decontamination, mechanical decontamination, paint depth measurements, taped up sensitive areas. So I'm just gonna go and get all my polishes out, uh, find the worst panel, split it up, do my tests on it, excuse me. <coughs> um, find out what's going to work what's not going to work this is a dual stage enhancement so one cut one refine um, and yeah hopefully we'll come back in a little bit with some footage and some 50 50s and see what pads i'm using and what polish so <laughs> let's get on yes so here we have my first little test section so here you can obviously see all the swirls and scratches so please remember this is cutting only this isn't refined so but we're going from that to that what a difference oh. nice little delivery from wax is dead uh, let's have a look at this See what we got. Well, I know what we've got. Pick that up in a minute. Wax is dead. Ultimate. Wax is dead. Supreme. Shampoo, shampoo. Shampoo, shampoo. Another one to add to the collection. I've never had a snapback before. <clears throat> so it might look ridiculous, but I love my hats. So yeah, we'll give this one a try later on. What else we got? Sweet. Always love sweets. A 
and some little bits to go in the cars. That's it. Thank you, Wax is dead. So here we have, on top of the rear bumper, underneath the tailgate, this is always a bad area. Uh, but yeah, look at all those scratches and swirls. And then this is after cutting. Look how much clearer that is. What a difference. Right, come on, let's get the rest done. Right, so I'm just about to have a five minute break. I'm gonna go and have something to eat quickly. Uh, staying on tonight, well, it's Thursday. Uh, gonna try and get the driver's side cut tonight. Uh, then that just leaves me the front end to do tomorrow morning, and then all the cutting is done. Then I can get onto the refinement, the wheels, blah, 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 everything else. Um, but for this one, I am using a Roops Blue DA course pad. Uh, I've got one here. which is one of those. Um, and then the Meguiar's D300. I bought this oh, six months ago um, and it just sat on the shelf and I've never tried it. I'm impressed. It might not have as much bite as say Cartec 3000, um, but I've had literally zero dusting from this there's been a little bit obviously it's going to create a little bit of dust but next to nothing um but with that and that pad we're getting some great results it's it's not perfect again this is a dual stage enhancement so it's one cut one refine um so unfortunately the deeper ones are going to remain unless you start going up to correction which i keep saying on videos um but this is working really, really well. Right, so I am gonna go and get some food quickly. Get back onto polishing, and then I can go home. Yes! Oh, it's looking so much better already. Yeah, so the color of the vehicle, I can visually see it changing after I've polished a bit, from going a little bit dull to a nice bright white. It's I say that I can see a difference from here, from the back panel, can you see my hand yet, to this panel. Um, and that's not been polished yet, so. God, it's gonna look so good when it's done. Right, go get some food, get polishing, run a bit of time lapse.
Sorry. Well, it's around half past eight. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired now. I can feel my eyes closing. Uh, so, driver side, passenger side, roof and back end have all been cut. So that leaves tomorrow morning front bumper, bonnet and driver side mirror cap to do. And then that's all the cutting done. Give everything a good wipe down. Do the refinement stage. Once that's done, I will then get outside, get the wheels cleaned. Uh, then we'll get on with the paint coating and trim coating and glass coating and wheel coating, interior coating, engine. <laughs> There's a lot to do on this one. Um, but yeah, already it looks absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, it looks, oh. Yes. Right, catch back in the morning. So much better, so much more gloss to that paintwork. So this is now gonna be finished off with Cartex 9000 and Cartex yellow pad. Great combination. The paintwork on this is quite hard. Um, there is a tiny bit of micromarring that's been left behind. So this is gonna clear it up absolutely perfectly. Yeah, so hopefully uh, get the refinement done today. Uh, maybe even get the coating on today. Uh, we shall see what the time looks a bit later on. Uh, if not, I'm gonna get out and get the wheels cleaned and get them ready for coatings tomorrow. But yeah, really, really, really happy with how that's turning out so far. Let's get on with the refining process. Polishing complete on the Volkswagen Tiguan. Really, really happy with the results on this one, just from the polishing stage alone. Obviously, you would have seen the, the scratches and swirls that were in this. There was a lot, and there were a lot of deep ones as well. For a dual stage enhancement, it's not perfect. Uh, as I say, I'm not gonna stand here and say that it's 100% defect free. There are scratches left in it. Um, I keep going on about it, reining myself back in and not doing what I want, it's what the customer's having done. Um, but yeah, really, really, really happy with that. So yeah, coating time. So this one is having Wax is Dead Ultimate for the protection. 
nice easy coating to work with quite a quick flash time on it so I have everything set up in my trolley first of all we're going to do a spy second wipe down just to remove all the polishing oils that are left uh, anything that we don't want before the coating goes down <laughs> let's get the coating on so yesterday I was about to apply the ceramic coating and I forgot <laughs> I had some touch-ups to do so that was put on hold I actually went out and got absolutely soaked getting the wheels cleaned so they are all now done ready so today which is Saturday morning it's going to be a full coatings day so we've got paint coating glass coating trim coating wheel coating interior so we're going to try and get all of that done today uh, this one's being picked up tomorrow so as we were yesterday I've got everything set up uh, gonna get my music on and get the coating on so this is probably going to take me out oh, about an hour maybe just over an hour but for you guys it's probably going to take a minute or so with a bit of footage right let's get the coating on come on come on come on come on come on come on coating completed not as much footage as I would have liked on that the camera for some reason just kept turning itself off um, but I know there's a little bit of footage but not as much as I wanted but that is all done we're now onto the wheels so these have all been fully washed decontaminated panel wiped down ready for their coatings let's get on with it So that is the wheel coatings completed. As you can see behind me, this is my infrared curing lamps. So this is set at 68 temperature, uh, 10 minutes per side on the wheel, so that'll get flipped over. Next wheel will go on 10 minutes each side. Uh, this just ensures me that they're fully cured before they go back on the vehicle. Uh, so paint coating is done, and unfortunately there wasn't a lot of footage filmed on this due to camera issues so I think I'm gonna roll a bit of time-lapse of the bit of the coating that I do have a little bit of wheel coating and trim coating get them all in one little bit um, and then yeah then we still got interior arches glass door shuts engine bay to finish off uh, yeah so there's still lots and lots to be getting on with but yeah, so we're just going to let that go off until I hear the alarm and now we're going to get on with the trim.
So while the glass coating is curing, arches are dressed, wheels are coated and back on, they've still got to be talked up when they're back on the floor. I'm just gonna dress the tires. So we've got G on the tire. And then just get it on. And by tomorrow morning, this tire dressing will look absolutely spot on. These Michelin tyres, uh, they've got all the little lines in it. Just like that. And then before I go home tonight, before I go home tonight, I'll give them a, a wipe down ready for tomorrow. Well, it's that time again at the end of another detail. I'm gonna be a little bit big headed on this one. I have absolutely smashed that out of the park. Um, I'm normally very quiet on that side of things. I'm, I'm not big headed person, but the difference on this one, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a bit big headed because I am so happy with that you would have seen earlier in the video oh, the scratches that were all down this i mean when it came in for its inspection it was it was not brilliant and it wasn't bad but then by the time i'd done the full decon uh removed everything that was on there obviously that highlighted a lot more damage but <laughs> oh wow this one's being collected today so she's gonna be <laughs> oh yes she's gonna be very very happy um god i just cannot get over that 
cannot go over that. This, so this one had a dual stage enhancement. Um, and that was enough to bring this like 90% of the way there. Um, the correction side would have allowed me to go a bit further, but that is, yeah. <laughs> so what has this one had done? This was a dual stage enhancement detail to remove swirls and scratches from the paintwork and bring out the gloss, the depth in the paintwork. Wheels off detail, trim coating, glass coating, wheel coating, paintwork coating, engine bay coating, interior. There's probably something that I've missed, but literally everything you can see has been protected on this. Hmm? I do love a clean white vehicle. There's just something special about it. Woo. So I hope people are kind of enjoying the content. I'll go back a little bit. The reason why I started doing YouTube and my social media I'm quite a shy person in myself. Um, not very quite nervous actually, especially speaking on the phone to new customers. I, I used to be very, very nervous since doing the social media. It's definitely brought me out a lot more um, in a personality wise as well. Uh, whereas before, if the phone rang, Oh, sometimes I wouldn't want to answer it because of how nervous I got. So that was why I started doing all the videos just to try and what, well, one, to show people what I'm doing, and two, is to grow my personality and to be more confident. I hope that comes across on camera. I, I know I still say, um, uh, I'm, nobody's perfect, are they? And I am trying my best to get better with every video. So, let's leave that on there because that's enough of me talking. So Volkswagen Tiguan completed! Yes! Let's roll some afters! <laughs>